Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lurch's Soul. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and just a spiritual bitch putting everybody on. What I intend to do is to teach people that God and Jesus and the universe coexist as one. Now today in this video guys, I'm going to be teaching y'all about the importance of rewiring your subconscious because y'all, if you want what you want, and I know that you do, you need to get to a point where your subconscious has been totally rewired so that you can consistently have the good shit in life because if you're affirming for something, that means that you want it, right? Well, in order to have it, you got to get your subconscious to that point where it believes it knows that you have what you want because you said so now with that being said we're gonna get started right now because i'm not wasting no time today listen y'all if you are affirming for something there's something on your mind that you really want if you know that something just belongs to you but it's not yet in your reach i'm gonna tell y'all today that the number one thing that you have to do is to keep persisting i don't care what you've been through yes i do but not right now i don't care what you've seen i don't care about any of the other shit that you've experienced within your lifetime because none of it matters if you're not putting in the work to rewire your subconscious in the way that it needs to be rewired okay because your subconscious is what holds all of the thoughts all of the beliefs all of the ideas surrounding your life the way that you are the way that things go for you everything so within your subconscious it holds that little piece of you that says yeah i deserve everything and so i'm gonna get everything because i said so or it holds nothing good belongs to me so i'm gonna keep attracting bullshit because that's what my subconscious says for me absolutely not listen if you want what you want y'all the number one way to getting that thing is for you to put in the motherfucking work like you gotta put in the work stop being so lazy sorry stop being so pessimistic stop telling yourself that it's not possible that you can't get what you want that it's hard work whatever it is stop telling yourself it because that's the only shit that you're gonna keep getting you may or may not know this but it takes 30 days to either make or break a habit okay and of course it's going all based off of logic so take it as you will besides that though it is a known fact within the psychology world or whatever that you make or break the habit within 30 days so that repetition of doing whatever it is that you're doing within the 30 days is gonna create a habit or if you work to stop doing something for 30 days you're gonna stop doing that thing by the end of the 30 days so with that being said let's say that you're trying to stop biting your nails okay you know it'll take you 30 days for you to stop biting your nails so what are you gonna do you're gonna stop fucking biting your nails each and every single day no matter how hard it gets every time you want to go nope put them down you're gonna ask your friend every time you see my hand go near my face swap my finger so i don't bite my nails you're being serious about you breaking your habit because you know that you don't want to live like that you know that you are not meant to bite your nails for the rest of your life and so you're putting in the work to rewire your subconscious within those 30 days so that you do not bite your nails anymore okay so with the repetition of you not biting your nails and you stopping yourself every single time you have the urge to nibble a bit of your finger you're gonna see that by the end of the 30 days you've completely stopped because your subconscious has picked it up your subconscious has no desire to bite your nails anymore even if it's from anxiety even if it's from depression or it's just a bad habit whatever it is you just do not feel the desire to do that thing anymore because you've completely rewired your subconscious into believing that it's not a necessity you don't feel like you have to do it anymore right it is the same exact thing y'all for the law of assumption okay within the law of assumption y'all already know you have to affirm persist with that thing continue on with it until you get what you want within the 3d so if you're affirming for something you know that okay maybe it might not show up within that second although you know that you already have that thing physically speaking you might not see it doesn't mean that you don't have it it means that it's here within the 4d but you just got to keep affirming until it shows up for you in the 3d so with that being said same shit you're affirming for what it is that you want you're persisting with that thing until it shows up because your subconscious is going to be completely rewired to the point where you're just like oh this is in the bag for me i got it and you're completely right look the second that you affirm for something you already stepped into that power the second that you say that you've stepped into it so no matter what it looks like around you it's already here because you said so now the hard part for most people is waiting for that thing to come in so whenever they see that things aren't coming in or whatever things aren't working out the way that they want them to they start to assume that they're affirming wrong or they're not affirming enough or they're just not meant to have that manifestation when that's really not the case what really is supposed to happen here is you're supposed to get yourself into trusting that you can have the things that you want and so with that being said with your constant affirming persisting within those notions you're going to get what you want because your subconscious is going to pick up on that your subconscious is going to say oh shit this girl has been saying for the last three weeks that i deserve all the good things in life i guess we do deserve the good things in life okay good things in life start hitting me with them you feel me like it's really that fucking simple you just told your subconscious that you deserve the things that you want with enough repetition your subconscious is like oh shit yes we do and with that being said you get what you want because you know that it's in the bag for you period and it's not even about believing that you deserve your manifestations because if y'all didn't know you do not have to believe your affirmations all you have to do is affirm for those things that's it that constant repetition is what's going to create the notion within your life that you have everything that you want or whatever it is that you're affirming for it's going to come into reality because you said so the things that do manifest are your thoughts okay that's it not your feelings but your thoughts okay so if you're affirming and you're thinking of that thing 24 7 it's going to come even if you don't believe it okay so 
if you're trying to lose weight and you feel like you cannot lose weight if you keep telling yourself that you're losing the fucking weight you are going to lose the weight because your 3d is going to present that to you you're going to start losing weight you're going to look in the mirror and say damn i lost a whole bunch of weight look at how good i look and then you're just going to naturally believe what you're saying because it is now a natural assumption you're just going to know that you can lose weight whenever you want because you said so which is exactly how it works this goes for any freaking thing in your life no matter what it is that you're affirming for if you're affirming for it if you're persisting with that thing and you do not give up no matter what you see in front of you you're going to get that thing because you said so so another thing is that guys it is very important that you're not breaking the cycle okay because if you're affirming for something y'all you have to keep up with it i don't care about what you see in front of you i don't care who tells you that you can't have it yes the fuck you can like it is meant for you because you said so no matter how bad things look no matter what anybody's telling you what no matter what you even believe within your mind none of it's real if it's not what you want and so with that being said you must keep persisting with your affirmations if you want things that you want because if you're giving up on yourself if you're pausing your manifestations by saying maybe i don't deserve it maybe it's not no 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 the only thing that you're doing is backing shit up like if you want what you want you got to keep strong with it you have got to keep strong with it in order to see the results you must rewire your subconscious into that point where it just knows that this is natural for you there's nothing else to it just the fact that you have what you want because you said so now guys y'all already know i have struggled multi-millions of times when it came to law of assumption because y'all know that i'm fucking capricorn to the max man like y'all know we work off of logic i have been logical my entire life up until this point up until i started using the law of assumption was the day that i stopped being so fucking logical because i realized that being logical is not helping me out and i'm sure it's not helping you out either because shit if you want what you want you got to be delusional you just got to keep telling yourself that this is what you have this is what you want this is what's meant for you so within that time i was struggling a bit because every time i was trying to like rewire my subconscious into believing what it is that i wanted was actually here i swear to y'all like there were so many times that i gave up on myself i was like this is not happening i can't do this this is too difficult absolutely not the only thing that i did whenever i said those things or whenever i told myself that it wasn't believable or whatever was me pushing my manifestations back into not coming into reality that's the only thing that that fucking did for me that's it instead of using that precious time affirming continuously until i got what i wanted i would sit back and be logical and look at the facts and all that shit and guess what that did for me it didn't help my subconscious rewire did it no if anything the only thing i was doing was implementing the old story which is exactly what you're not supposed to do if you're rewiring the subconscious you have got to stop telling the old fucking story like nobody wants to hear it i promise you nobody wants to hear it i know some of y'all believe that it's rough out here that you can't get what you want oh my man doesn't love me oh this i have no money blah, blah, blah. whatever bitch like okay i get it i completely get it and i get the complaints because that's what's appearing right now but listen nothing in front of you is real your reality is not real unless you say that it is so if you want to be fucking rich be rich say that you're rich continuously say that you're rich until your subconscious can believe the new story okay like that's the way you're gonna do it that is the way you have to keep going on with it stop telling people about how broke you are stop telling people about how single you are stop telling people the old effing story if you do not want to live in that story it does not matter it is not meant for you that story is gone non-existent the only story you should be telling is of how wonderful your life is now is of how rich you are how booed up you are how insanely happy you are all of the good things are the only things that you're going to be telling people because the old story does not fucking exist i don't care i don't care i don't care what you've been through yes i do but not right now i don't care it's not meant for you stop telling people the old story if you want your subconscious to rewire into believing that you have what you want you have to keep telling the new story whether it be to yourself to other people it doesn't matter you just have to know that the new story is what's real and that the old story does not exist anymore because that is not what's meant for you period it is really not meant for you i don't want to hear about the complaints i don't want to hear about oh my god it's so hard to be positive no it's not no it's not being positive is the easiest thing to be in this fucking world because you're meant to live in luxe you're meant to live happily you're meant to have everything that you could ever want plus more period that is it you're not meant to struggle you're not meant to be unhappy you're not meant to not have everything that you could ever want you're meant to have everything and with that being said your life is supposed to be good your subconscious is supposed to believe that everything in your life is good and if you're sitting here and you're watching this video and you're thinking easy for you to say life is hard bitch oh go check out my other videos because you got some lessons to learn no the fuck it's not life is not hard life is not meant to be tough it's not rough out here it's easy out here i don't care about how many meme pages you follow on instagram telling you that life is tough no the fuck it's not no it is not and if you do follow those pages unfollow them right fucking now because the only thing that they're doing is harming your subconscious you're implementing the old story if you want the new story you got to persist within the new story you got to know that this is what belongs to you i'm being so effing serious y'all if you want what you want you must persist i don't care what you see i don't care how you feel i don't care what you even can think about or what you've seen when you were little i don't give a shit if your grandparents told you that life is 
supposed to be hard. I don't care what your immigrant parents told you. I don't care what you witnessed living in different places. I don't care. The only thing that this life consists of is happiness, being rich, being successful, being prosperous, being happily married, or whatever it is that you want to be. It consists of all the good things in life. If to you, your definition of a good life is living with 10 million cats, bitch, live your life. Tell yourself that you're living with 10 million cats because you said so, because that is what happiness means to you. Stop telling the old story where you don't have any cats, you're allergic to cats, my landlord doesn't allow cats, yes they do, no you don't have allergies, yes you do have a million of cats around you because you said so. Okay, like hello, if you want what you want, keep up with the new story. <laughs> if you don't want the old story, stop telling it. Allow your subconscious to be rewired. Affirm, my subconscious believes in all the good things. My subconscious knows that the good life belongs to me. If it's not what I want, my subconscious does not pick up on it. Like, huh? Fixed. Fixed. Affirmed for it. It's done. Period. There's no waiting. You're rewiring that shit right now because you said so. Because you said so. Because you said so. And that's it. Stop wondering so hard. Stop complaining. Stop thinking about the sad shit. No one wants to hear about it. You don't even want to hear about it. Your soul doesn't fucking want to hear that. Your soul wants you to believe in all the good things because that is what is destined for you. Now stop wasting time and allow for your subconscious to come around because that is what is meant for you that is all that is all all right everybody thank you all so much for watching my video i really appreciate it i intend that this video helps you to the best of its ability and i know that it did because guys enough is enough enough is enough in every single video enough is always enough listen if you want things to change allow for your subconscious to be rewired through your persistence persistence if you want what you want you have to keep persisting i'm so sorry i don't care if it hurts i don't care if it's painful to do keep persisting until you see it show up because it will but you have to keep going on with it you're meant to live in the life that you deserve and with that being said you have to get your subconscious into knowing that for yourself into believing that this is possible for you because it absolutely is if you want it you fucking got it because you said so but you have to keep up with it okay that means no giving up when you feel weak because you're not weak that means no giving up when you feel like things aren't going your way that means not giving up when you see that things are coming in the way that i want them to yes they are yes they do they're you're ugh, you're not weak like you have everything that you could ever need inside of you in order to get what you want the only thing that's holding you back is you okay so anytime that you feel you want to complain or vent to your boyfriend or talk about the old story sit back for a minute and think is this helping my subconscious is me talking about the shit i don't want really helping me get what i want if the answer is no then don't effing do it don't do it don't do it it's that simple trust me the moment will pass you will eventually not feel like you have to talk all your shit because your subconscious is naturally going to be fulfilled in the fact that oh my god i actually got what i wanted because i said so my subconscious knows that i can have everything that i want i don't even feel the need to talk shit anymore yeah you don't because there's no reason to not a single ounce of you wants to say anything bad about your life because you know that your life is amazing your subconscious has known this for a fact forever but you are not implementing it you're telling your subconscious that this is permanent and that this is going to last forever and you're exactly right because yes it is your life is going to be just as good as you say it is for the rest of your life because you said so there is no time left to waste keep affirming keep persisting stop giving up on yourself there is no such thing as giving up rewire your subconscious by repeating your affirmations without stopping because you can do it and that's it all right y'all i will see y'all this wednesday for another video thank y'all so much again for watching god bless y'all please take care everybody and stop breaking your new habit bitch affirm for what it is that you want so that you can get it rewire that subconscious that's simple bye if you want your subconscious to believe the new story, bro, you have to keep telling it. I don't care what you see around you. I don't care what you're experiencing. You have to keep persisting. I'm so sorry. You have to keep persisting. You cannot give up on yourself. Your subconscious is meant to be rewired in the way that you want it to be rewired because you're meant to have all the amazing things in life. So with that being said, keep persisting with your affirmations and do not give up until you believe within every fiber of your being that you have what you want now because you said so and that's it. Nothing can play games with you if you don't let it.